Hello YouTube and Facebook people, welcome back to my videos. Today's video is another haul video. My channel contains mostly haul videos because that's my favorite part of reselling. In case you don't know or in case you forgot because I'm a crappy YouTuber who doesn't upload very often. <laughs> um, my name's Valerie and I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark. Um, yeah, so this stuff is going to be for Poshmark or some of it is for me personally. Uh, yeah, I will go ahead and jump into it. I went ahead and figured out the cost of goods like from each individual garage sale. To get my cost of goods, I took my total spent and I divided that by the total number of items I purchased at the garage sale. So I'm going to start these in order from my least favorite garage sale up to my favorite garage sale. First garage sale, I only picked up three things and these are all personal things. Um, my cost of goods ended up being 92 cents per item and I got my dad a few things. I got him some flags for Christmas. That one was a snowman. This one is a poinsettia. His dad, my grandpa, used to decorate his basement all in poinsettias. So I figured he would like that. And lastly from that garage sale, this is for me and it says flowers and garden and it's this metal container. Um, it has a liner in it too. I think it was supposed to be for flowers, <laughs> but I'm going to use this in my laundry room, which I am redecorating. Um, and I'm going to put like my sponges and cleaning brushes in here. And I think that'll look really cute in there. Next garage sale, the cost of good for each item was about 33 cents. Um, starting with the most random thing I got, it was this game for a Nintendo Game Boy and it is Terminator T2. Um, I mean, I could sell it, I think, and make a few bucks. I think the comps on it were like $10, but <laughs> I think I'm going to keep this and play it. My dad has a Nintendo Game Boy, so I'm going to take this over and we're going to play Terminator. Next random thing, this is for my laundry room as well. I thought it was really cute. I can either put plants in it, which is what it's intended for, or I can put shallow um, pots in it and use it for storage. I think that would be a really cute idea. The rest of this stuff from this garage sale will be for reselling, so keep an eye out for it if you're interested. For my Poshmark closet, you can find it at Valamilk. It'll be linked down below. First up are these hiking boots. They are size six and they are leather and waterproof. Um, the brand's nothing too special. It's Earth Spirit, which I think is just sold, oops, sorry, which I think is sold at Walmart. But if you've ever worn this brand, you'll know that it is a really comfortable brand. I have a pair of sandals by this brand and they are stinking comfortable. Um, we went on a road trip and visited like seven national parks and I used them suckers to hike everywhere we went and they were comfortable. Um, so this is a pair of actual hiking boots, excellent condition, and they've got the rubber bottoms <laughs> rubber bottom apple bottom that's what i was laughing at in my head i was thinking apple bottom anyway so yeah these are really nice and again 33 cents can't beat that that's cheaper than bins pricing next is another pair of shoes these are a pair of adidas um i didn't see a material tag anywhere but they do feel like leather and these ones are a size five and a half and i do believe these are women's and then they had a bunch of clothing these are nothing too special. They are Victoria's Secret Sport and they are size small. And they're just a pair of gray leggings. Um, stuff like this, I think I'm gonna lot up. I've had a lot of luck lotting up similar sized and similar category items. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with workout clothes. Um, next is a Nike Dry Fit size extra small. And I think this is like a tennis skirt and it's got the shorts underneath, excellent condition. So once I find a few more extra small sizes, I'll lock those up together as well. This one was a size large. It's an Adidas track jacket with pink striping and pink details. Um, these next two items I will lot up and sell together. This one's a Nike size small track jacket. And this is the one that had a flaw to it. Everything's in great condition except for the zipper, like the little pull tab came off, but obviously you can still zip it because I managed to zip it onto the hanger. Um, this one is not a big name, I don't think so. Like it looks like Adidas, but it's not. Uh, it's Urban Groove and it's a size small. 
And like I said, it has the striping like it wants to be Adidas. <laughs> so this will get lotted up with that Nike jacket and I'll probably add a few more things. So maybe I'll do like four athletic items, size small, and then put like maybe $45 on it. This next garage sale had a lot of vintage and antique stuff. And normally when I see stuff like that, I just assume that the people are going to be charging like antique store prices, but they actually had some really good deals. I got a whole bunch of clothing, which I'll show you. Um, Costa Good ended up being about 53 cents each, which is not bad. Um, some of this stuff, I mean, it's all vintage. I'm not sure, but some of it might even be antique. A lot of it's homemade stuff. There's some stuff that was made by companies um but it's all really really old some of it is flawed when i first gathered my stuff i probably had over a hundred items with me but then i decided maybe i should be a little bit more picky because i'm not sure how well i'm gonna do with fixing or cleaning stains on this very delicate stuff so i narrowed it down to the stuff that i had confidence in that i could clean it and stuff that was a little bit more trendy like it's all really really old but some of these styles are currently trending so i tried to be picky in that manner there's also some stuff that had stains this first item i think is one of those items and i'm going to try my hand at dyeing to see if i can match my dye to the stain um if not it was only 53 cents to try and maybe i'll keep it for myself if i end up messing it up so this first item is this little blouse um, this one was made by a brand or a company and it is promotional import washable poplin that's what the tag says um and it's just this short sleeve button up super super cute and like you can see there are some stains on it or maybe you can't see Trust me, they're there. So this is gonna be one of the things that I try and dye to like a darker brown color. Um, I'm guessing too, like this is probably like an extra small adult. Um, some of the stuff that's a little bigger, like this right here, this dress, I'm pretty tempted to keep and I might price it on the higher side so that, <laughs> that sounds really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna price it high so it's less likely to sell so that I can keep it. But then if somebody buys it outright or if they send me an offer that I can't refuse, then I will end up selling it. But I think this is the perfect fall dress. This with a pair of tights and a pair of black Doc Martens is going to be so cute. This one has the detail of these buttons. Oh, I guess this one is a popover. It's got buttons right there. It does have the side zips. You can get in it a little easier. And then it has the detail on the sleeve. It's rolled, but then it has the button right there really really modest again the flowy pleated skirt this one will be in my poshmark closet um not quite my style and it is this jumpsuit so it's blue with the white stitching detail the white lace up two pockets that is the front they look like back pockets but that is the front and then they are a wide leg with a little bit of a flare on the end super super cute really excellent condition and it's got the back zip this one is actually a Bobby Brooks. Like that is some very vintage Bobby Brooks. So this next one has a Sears tag, obviously vintage. It's Sears Fashions, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the tag. Okay, so it says it's a size 10, but obviously that's a size vintage 10. Because this is not a size 10. This is probably a size small, maybe a medium, which I guess a 10 would be a medium, but there is no stretch to these. so. Probably a small would fit best. Uh, let's see, this one does not have a store tag in it. Really, really cute. It's like a, is it denim? No, it's like a chambray. Honestly, it feels like it's a linen. Um, the detail around the neck. And it came with a belt and the belt is kind of just like a really fancy rope. And it has flowers on the end of it, on both ends, really cute. Two front pockets, really big pockets with the tie detail to close it, and then some buttons. That one looks like it'd probably fit up to a medium. Um, next, this one looks like it did have tags, but they got removed. Short sleeve, button up, striped, and this one has a matching belt. Oh, wait, you no, know, there's writing on the belt. <laughs> the brand is sanitized, sanitized, but sanitized. Um, I think that's what it says. No size on it. 
It does have two pockets, again, button up. I'd say most of these would fit a size small, maybe medium. Again, like I said, there's no stretch to any of these. Um, this one is by Activities. <laughs> Plaid, but this one has like floral detailing in between. Again, this one has the matching belt with it. Does it have pockets? It has one pocket on the front. That's a really cute pocket. Next is a very 70s dress. Um, no tag, but it has that yellow and orange 70s color, paisley print. And does this one have pockets? Yes, this one has the side pockets. Very cute. That's more of a boxy fit. So this one's going to be another one that I try and dye. I put it back at first, but then I couldn't help myself. It has these really cute mushrooms on it. And on the back, you can see it has some staining. I'm going to try and get the stains out first before I try to dye these. But honestly, they've probably been there for a really long time, so I'm probably not going to have much luck. But I couldn't pass it up. It's so stinking cute. Again, this is probably like a size extra small. Next is this really cute dress. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a girl's dress or a teen dress or a woman's. I think it would fit an extra small woman or like a large child. Um, really cute piping around the neckline and then it has this cute embroidery around the drop waist with the pleated skirt buttons on the front and then it has a zip back these next two are really cool these are vintage girl scout uniforms there's the tag super old this one came with the belt so it says girl scouts usa and then it has the little belt with it and then this next one has the same tag in it but it has this embroidery on it. I'm not sure if that's a Girl Scouts logo. Um, and then it has the troop number on the sleeve. This one did not come with the belt, but I'll probably match these ones up together. So all of the women items I'm probably going to list individually. Um, these Girl Scout ones I'll probably put in a lot. And then the rest of these are like girl sizes, which I think I'm just going to put these all in one lot. As I was picking through, I tried to get them all that looked about the same size so that I could do that. Um, this first one, so stinking cute. Green and blue plaid with a button up top. It does have an elastic waist, which is nice. Um, this one is missing a button though, which I was kind of surprised. I think this is the only one that's missing a button, but it is the top one, so I don't think it'll make that big of a difference. Next girl's dress is this blue and white one with the puff sleeve. It's got the tie waist, the button up back, and I just think this little collar is so cute. This one I absolutely love. It's got a little bit of a flair to it. Um, button up back. It's got the tie back to make it a little tighter in the waist. Elastic waist, and then it has these little pockets in front. Next in that lot is another dress similar to one I've already shown. It's got the button up back high waist in the back and then these cute button details and again the detail with the collar. The last clothing item I got again is a girl's dress. This one has buttons up the front but it's only the top half that's buttoned. Cute collar and a little bit of a puff to the sleeve. And then lastly I got this bucket or laundry basket thing from that garage sale because I was using this to carry this around and at the end I just asked the lady if she'd take a dollar for it and she did so I lucked out that I didn't have to carry all this to my car by hand. I got a basket to go with it. Cost of good at this garage sale was two dollars and 22 cents per piece which is crazy good. It's my highest cost of good but this stuff's a little bit better. First thing I got there are these Marmot leather gloves. They do need cleaned up, but I have a leather cleaning kit, so I don't think I'll have too much trouble with them. Um, Marmot size extra large men's. Really good mountain brand right here. This might have been my favorite find of the day. So $2.22 for these Merrill leather waterproof hiking boots. They've got the Vibram bottom soles. Lace up, really excellent condition this guy said he only wore them a few times men's 11 and a half blows my mind two dollars and 22 cents that's cheaper than what i would have got them at the bins because they are pretty heavy so this one's an off size from the rest of them but i'm going to measure it and if it's around the same size i'm going to go ahead and lot it with the rest of them it's a wranglers size large 
vintage snap button up shirt and it's got these cool details on the sleeve they've got these cool details 100 percent cotton and i think this is a really in style type of shirt right now it probably doesn't look like it but this style is on trend next this one is a wrangler size extra large same kind of feel it's a vintage western shirt this one is snap button as well pearlized snap buttons wrangler size extra large this one's the blue and yellow and it has the details on the arm really really cool this one is just normal buttons and i think that's it for the wranglers this one is a woolrich size large and this is the type of woolrich that i like to find very vintage very cool very westerny um this one did have a little bit of wear but i'm not too worried about it i think it'll still sell like it has wear inside of the collar so nothing too major and then lastly i picked up a few jackets this one is by canyon river blues it's a size extra large extra large men's and it's just a jean jacket button up i have pretty good luck with jean jackets i sell them anywhere from 35 to 85 dollars depending on the brand this one's marlboro mar <laughs> this one is marlboro marlboro it's like the cigarettes i can't pronounce it marlboro um but it has the lace lace holy smokes yes it's got a cute lace collar <laughs> It's got a leather collar. Oh lordy. Again, just a jean jacket button up. And then it's got the patch on the back that says the brand that I'm not going to try and pronounce again. And lastly, one of my favorite clothing items is this vintage Carhartt. The tag says it's a size 2X. And it is this very westerny jacket. It does have some marks on the front, but I think those are all on the surface. So I think it'll come out in the wash. Um, it has a corduroy collar on it and then it goes all the way onto the back. Super cool. Um, really like it. Like I said, cost to get at that garage sale, $2.22. Can't beat that for this type of stuff. So that was everything for this haul. I ended up spending $35.75. That's not bad. I got a lot of stuff. Um, if you're interested in any of it, feel free to visit my Poshmark closet at Bella Milk. It'll be linked down below. Also linked down below is my Instagram. It's my personal page. Feel free to come check me out, hang out. Yeah, that's everything for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.